Oh, I watched a um, two classic Hollywood movies this weekend. Mm. What Frankenstein. Great movie. The Bride of Frankenstein. You watched The Bride of Frankenstein. Yeah, Frankenstein. How is I've never seen The Bride of Frankenstein. I actually enjoyed it more than the other. Uh, oh, really? Because I really like I really like the original Frankenstein. Oh, if you like the original Frankenstein, you like that. There's actually so many like really impressive filmmaking elements to those films. It, yeah, there really are. <laughs> like when the, you consider the day. Like the same with Dracula. Cinematography, camera work, like yeah. sets and it was I've not seen Dracula. I'm going to go through a lot of the mon the classic um awesome monster movies. Yeah, Dracula's wonderful. Over the next month. Um but yeah, we watched the uh, Stephen I Cino. miss I miss Universal Studios when I was a kid. I was thinking about this driving over two things, but one the Universal Studios tour used to have on their back lot, you would stop the tram and get off and walk into some sound stages. Mm -hmm. And one of the sound stages was this they had left intact Frankenstein's laboratory. And they did a whole show about the old horror movies of Frankenstein and uh, Phantom of the Opera and Dracula. It was really cool. The other thing I was thinking about shows you how old I am. So for your kids, Seinfeld is to them what I Love Lucy was to me mm. when I was a kid. Mm. But what's interesting is things felt so much older to us when we were kids because everything was in black and white. Mm. Even for you growing up, mm -hmm. a lot of the older stuff was already Technicolor. Yeah. But for me, the majority of the stuff I was watching when I was single digits was all back from the 1940s and 50s and early 60s. When did they invent uh, color? Like in the world. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction corner. <laughs> <laughs> right. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for more GC content. Thank you for watching the Patreon. There's oh. people who think that. I thought it when I was a kid. Well, no, there's adults yeah. who think that. No, like when I was a kid, I asked, I remember asking my mom, I was like, when did they invent color? Yeah. I, I remember had, when the world was like all black and white. Like, I had, when I was a kid, I had that same thought. When Labor Day came around, I thought, "Oh, Labor Day, that's the day when all the moms have babies." That's true. Uh, and I thought, "Wait, I was born in March." Welcome anyway. back. Today Hello, everybody. The, uh, Devra release trailer. Devra, Devra, Devra Messing. You were so good on Will and Grace. We already had a Devra trailer. Now this is the release trailer. <laughs> <laughs> They're coming up with whole new terms. Just call it like trailer two. Like you don't know. It's the release. It's the release teaser trailer purview. <laughs> you're not tricking anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Just call it like trailer number two. What do you think this one's gonna be? I, I think we do, they do that in Hollywood. They're like trailer two. That's yeah, they just they do teasers, trailer, and final trailer or trailer two. Uh anyways, here we go. <laughs> Feels like the sound is getting lower as it goes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. His face was on fire. <laughs> Is that Jason Statham I saw? Oh, wow. Why is the audio so low? I don't know. It keeps dropping. <laughs> 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 
అడిగినాడంటే చెప్పినాడని Well, we knew why the volume wasn't so high. <laughs> Corbin hadn't turned it up on the... Uh, I had the volume up on the, on the, the board here, but yeah. the, the video, kept, for some reason... They, we kept turning up our board volume going, Why is it, why is it not turning like, up any higher? I need the uh, do, 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 do. Um, Stupid's our middle name. Yeah. Uh, that looked good. Uh, I, I, I'm actually quite impressed of how, like, how visually pretty this looks yeah it's gonna be a submersive yeah. journey into this world a lot of blue and a lot of water which is interesting because akshay is not there uh you do this in a couple more things and i might i might say junior ntr becomes <laughs> the king of water it's gonna take a while but we got triple r and we got this <laughs> just give him a couple more with water uh um, he'll, be, he'll be fighting akshay for yeah. aquaman title I think it could be like a really fun movie, though. Yeah, that's uh, what I'm. I'm expecting it to be fantasy, just like a lot very of massy in spots. A lot of the VFX looks really good. They I mean, do. The, the shark looks silly, silly. But uh, everything other than that, like in terms of like, but forgivably silly. It didn't look dreadful. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I, I'm I'm literally okay with massy moments of him riding a shark. That's, no, I. That's, it's actually that's fun. I kind of want it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That like that kind of stuff is fun. Uh, it brings a, an element of fun to the movie, obviously. But obviously, if the whole film is bad CGI, then then, then that no. Then and that and again, bad. that wasn't horrible. It was just yeah. I was like, that's clearly no, okay, not a real clearly shark. not a real shark. <laughs> As opposed to what, what movie did we see recently? And like the tiger was like incredible. Oh, oh it was the Danush. It film was the Danush that film. We were like, this is yeah. like um, it was than flawless. Life. Yeah, flawless. But this looks. This looks like it's going to, and I suspect, in addition to the star appeal, the mass appeal, the submersiveness of the world and visual effects and cinematography, I have a, I have a feeling it's going to have a pretty solid story. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah, you never know, man. I hope it's going to be good. Uh, anyways, let us know what you thought about it, if you're excited for this. Yeah! And anything else we need to know. Down, down below. below. Just 